Boys and girls, it is ridiculously tough out here. I've been out here for a couple hours and I've managed to scrap up one little squeaker fish. Little guy, jeez. Throwing a lot of stuff. Throwing jerk bait, jig head minnow, chatter bait, lipless, shaky head, and um, I can't get bit. I've been really focusing shallow. Actually, I've been trying a little bit of everything. Been working on secondary points and stuff, and uh, a little bit of brush pile. I've had a few bites. I just have not connected with them. But it's slow. It's it's tough. There's a lot of boats boats out here running around, and um, we don't have a lot of time. Finn, Finn, what do you think? It's tough, isn't it? It is tough. But we got hope. This right here. This is one of my confidence baits. My favorite confidence baits of all times. Just a little zoom speed crawl. Quarter ounce sinker, got a little bobber stop. And I got this on 18 pound test. Typically I'm throwing on 15 pound test. I'm just gonna be throwing it on that seven foot three Virtus Jewel Ranger red diamond. And we're gonna cover some water up shallow and, and deep. I, I just, I think maybe they're just in a funk. Well, they actually, they are in a funk. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna downsize, I'm gonna slow down and see if we can scrape up a few foot before the sun sets. Man, it's absolutely beautiful. Cold fronts. There's been a lot of cold fronts. You know, we'll have a couple days of stable weather, and then we get a cold front. It's really doing this right now, guys. I mean, you can tell from the classic, Bassmaster Classic on Grand, how tough the fishing was, and that's the conditions that we got around here, just kind of up and down. So um, we're not giving up. We're gonna keep bouncing around, trying a few different areas, and we'll see what happens. Look at that, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. Okay, so I've been struggling, right? <laughs> put the old speed crawl on, and I don't know. This could be, I don't want to jinx myself, but put the old speed crawl on, and I mean, three pitches, and we snatch this one. That's a skinny little fellow. It looks like a pike, but we, we'll take him on a tough day. <laughs> it is amazing. Sometimes just a little bait switch can make all the difference in the world but we got to catch some more we got to catch some more to make sure it's the bait it could just be the area but i don't know man i got a lot of confidence in this bait and we'll see caught us another one a little speed crawl a little brush pile out there Oh, he's trying to get a few bites. That little guy chased up off the bottom. There you go. Oh, speed crawl. Good bait when things are tough. Damn. There you go. Got a little brush pile fish.
I, it's been hit and miss, you know, you can have a decent day and then come back the next day and just, it'd be really tough. I just, there's a couple brush piles right here on this point. I was just kind of playing around with, there was some crappie on there. Yeah, like I'm looking at a, right out here about 80 foot, there's a brush pile, it's full of crappie right now. Doesn't mean they're gonna bite. Well, they'll bite probably, but yeah. I'm not fishing for crappie. I should though, they're a lot easier. Well, good luck, it was good, yeah, thanks. Thank yeah, thanks for saying hi. Good bite. That is a good bite. Well, speaker, I was getting a few fish today. Man, that made too much noise back here. We're in some pretty shallow water, folks. Got a lot of stain back here, and we're just fishing shallow cover. That fish came in like probably like a foot of water. All right, folks, I love it when a plan comes together. You know, I've been fishing for a while that day, and it, it was tough, man. It was tough. And one of the baits that has produced bites for me over the years when it is tough it is a little speed crawl just a zoom speed crawl these suckers you can get them you can get them at walmart you can get them at baitworks um if you do go to baitworks use the code thm10 get 10 percent off of your order but they're everywhere and they're super common and and this is not a new bait by any means it's been around forever most of you are familiar with this but it's one that gets forgotten about and the reason I think it is such a good bait when the fish are in a funk is it's it's a it's a finesse style bait. You can still power fish with it, but it's a small package. You know, this thing's probably like three inches long. So it's a nice, easy meal. Um, you know, bass really likes a crawfish about that size. And if you're throwing like the green pumpkin, which by the way, green pumpkin and June bug are really the only two colors I use. I might be missing some colors that I need to throw. Let me know in the comment section. But this also represents a, a bluegill. I guess June bugs too, does too, but you know, you're covering your basis. You got crawfish and bluegill, depending on how you fish it. It's just a great all around bait. You can Texas rig it and you can put it on a shaky head, Carolina rig, it's deadly behind the carrier, Carolina rig. And it, you know, it's also a great trailer for a jig or a swim jig or a, a bladed jig. It's just an all around bait. <clears throat> but the hook that I've been using for quite some time that I've kind of found to be the best for me is the, the Gamagatsu Superline EWG in a three aught. And there's a way to rig it up that will keep the fish from pulling your pants down. And I'll show you, it's really simple. I got a couple couple of things I'll show you here and we'll get back to, to catching some fish because I started catching some better, better fish. Um, what I like to do is I'm coming in, just rigging it up, Texas rig. But instead of instead of going all the way up on the eye, you know, don't worry about that knot. Don't worry about hiding that eye. You want to leave a little bit of the plastic off of the eye, and it's harder for the fish to pull that sucker down right there. And that little notch, that little kink, will actually grab <clears throat> the bait and hold it. Um, but this this is the three eye. EWG, the Superline, like I said, and it is perfect. I mean, look where, look where this thing sits once I get it rigged up. It's just, it's perfect. It is perfect. It doesn't interfere with the flippers, but yet that hook is all the way back. And <clears throat> this is a great bait for spawning fish too. You know, when the fish are on beds, they're, they're notorious for just grabbing part of the crawl. And if you've got a really long bait, like a, a rage crawl or something, um, you're, you have a tendency to lose some fish because they're they're just really particular about grabbing that bait and kind of short grabbing it instead of sucking it all the way in but this is a smaller profile you can even pinch that sucker off and, and put that hook back even further if you're getting um if you're missing some fish but another key thing with this bait that i like to do and i you know i, I like to do this with just about all of my flipping baits all the soft plastic setups is i like to use a bobber stop and uh six cents mix Probably one of the better bobber stops. Let me, let me get this thing up here. But it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I just like the six cents because they're a little bit bigger. But a bobber stop, the reason I use a bobber stop um, 
is because it allows you to do a couple things. Majority of the time, I'm not totally pegging it. Um, I'm gonna leave it like this and that allows that weight some freedom and it allows your bait some more freedom. It's kind of like uh, having a ringed hook in a, in a certain aspect. Um, it still comes through cover pretty good like that, comes through grass pretty good like that. But if I am flipping really heavy stuff, it's as simple as that. You can peg that sucker. So you've got two options here with that bobber stop. Most of the time I'm throwing a quarter ounce weight, sometimes a three eighths. So anywhere between a quarter and three eighths and, and five sixteenths. But um, very rarely do I go any lighter or, or heavier. Um, this is obviously a lizard. I was kind of playing around with a lizard. Might have a video coming out pretty soon with the lizard. I was throwing 18 pound test. Normally I'm throwing 15. Um, and I had, a, I was kind of overpowered today, but I was just throwing this Virtus. This is the Ranger, the Red Diamond Ranger. It's a seven foot three heavy fast. Most of the time in a normal situation, I would be throwing a medium heavy, um, just kind of 15 pound test, a little bit softer action rod, a little bit lighter line. But on this day, I was kind of beefed up and we went after them. So let's get back into the video because um, I did catch a few more fish. up close and personal with these fish another good one nothing wrong with that fish that fish was in like nothing sitting right next to this stump Found this little stretch here with rock and I'm slowing down because there's not a lot of rock so when you find something it's a little bit different it's a good idea to just kind of soak it a little bit there we go snatches up one here to mix it up here just getting a lot of open water where there's no wood or anything to flip to so, throw a little minner out there, see what happens. And this thing has been deadly. I've been mixing it up with that speed crawl, little minnow. I mean, it is fun. Just throwing this thing around shallow, really, really shallow. Trappers. Come here. Come here. Big sucker. There we go. That is fun. 
These things never get old. fish on the old speed crawl it's gonna wrap it up man when things are tough this is one of those baits that can get bites just really finessey a lot of times in the spring we got all these cold fronts and the weather's just changing it's windy really windy one day and the next day it's slick and sunny and it's just all over the place sometimes just slowing down fishing something Real finessey like a speed crawl, June bug, green pumpkin. I usually keep it simple. Can uh, put some fish in the boat. So give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Till next time, man. You know, sometimes you just keep it simple. This is an old classic bait, reliable, and uh, it works. <laughs>